All right. Um, so, um, anything else? We will go on to the next one, I guess. Yeah. Um, probably. The, yeah, we have five. That's what I have. What do we want to work on immediately? We, we got the. It, the way I'm kind of envisioning this is we could have several projects in different stages. Like the, um, the minutes is pretty well matured now. It's down to taking it to the council. But we could have some other projects that we're thinking about gathering information rather than just going to discrete one to the next. Well, I can give you some fires if you want some fires to look at. But I suggested to Rick earlier that maybe we each have a, our most burning fire to put on the table and then we decide whether we can deal with it or what priority we give it. Um, I've got one too. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, do you want to come up with a little small list of our own fires and then yeah, sort it out so. real quick? That's fine. Yeah. All right. Um, Please. You sure? Yes. Right. I don't want to dominate things. Um, I, water rates, uh, last I heard from a good source, is that there will be a presentation to City Council informal session on February 11th from utilities about what their proposals, proposals are. We've asked um, for your information out quite a few times, nicely and more forcefully. Um, for a meeting with the con the uh, the um, Consultant. consultants, thank you, and copies of the information supplied to the consultants, and compliance hasn't really been there. Um, they've what they've said is, well, you need to pay you need to pay two hundred and something dollars to get it on on this electronic version of this of this information, and. Uh, That's kind of where we're at. There was no mention of water rates in the, um, the mayor's budget um, discussion. There are some meetings coming up this next week um, for the budget, and they're probably going to be the, the push button survey things. Yeah, and I'm kind of wondering how much um, is going to be allowed outside of that. Um, so that gets a little bit more issue political, but I thought I'd bring that up. Um, that's one fire. Um, I will say, along with that overall city concern, is also um, concern about center stage and in terms of the budget. Um, I think there's there's some real dangers associated with what's going on, and I don't think the city officials are prepared to talk about them. So I'll just leave, I'll just say right there that the center stage of the agreement with city council and the ongoing subsidy from the city is, is still, to me, an open government concern. Third thing, um, the I haven't seen any reports yet as far official reports. I've heard a lot of whispers about the Second Street connector and the, and the canal wall that was destroyed. Um, Actually, I had people last night approaching me saying that, that, that Venture Richmond's distraught about the canal wall, and my response to them is, why don't they press charges then, um, since they're the landowner, technically. Did somebody from Venture Richmond say that, or did somebody say Well, that? people who were close to Venture Richmond have said that to me repeatedly, is that, oh, Jack Berry's really upset about the, the canal wall. And again, my response is, well, why don't they press charges then? And what I've heard um, unofficially is that, well, there's someone from Dominion told the contractor and the contractor was, the contractor was an idiot and, and you know, destroyed more of the wall than they should have. It was all accidental. And I'm like, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Took all the trees down and it was accidental. Right, right. <laughs> and, 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 you know, this is all. And so, the, but my point, I guess, is that the official report had from the city, common attorney, whatever, has not come forward yet. As far as that goes, but I'm sure what they're going to, what's going to come out to say is that, you know, someone, someone gave the con gave the contractor permission that the contractor took it too far accidentally. Um, and so, 
the comparison to the red skin trees is apt. Um, what we want to do about it, I don't know. It's, like I said, it's another one of those very political issues. Um, fourth thing that just actually really came to my attention this week is that, um, again, Dominion Power on the riverfront, uh, Dominion has, um, is going to um, the street. S close off a street downtown and sell off property to um, build another office tower from another, another energy behind it and build this, like, this law company. Uh, well, uh, yeah, um, McGuire Woods is going to be the and, and the reason why, um, normally I wouldn't care. I mean, I'm not, I, you know, they're going to build a skyscraper, they might as well build it downtown. But my, my problem with it is that um, back in 1999, 2000, when Oregon Hill was dealing with Dominion's special use permit and Sierra Club and Scenic Virginia and all these other entities that were concerned about the um, special use permit from Dominion, was that we told that was an alternative for them to build on the riverfront was to, to go ahead and build another headquarters building next to the one they currently have downtown. And they said, oh, we can't do that. We have to close off the street. We can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, <clears throat> there's a lot to be dug there, literally, because there's also, it's also probably the last part of the old canal basin. And so the question is, are they going to do a proper excavation or not before they start building? Architectural, you know, ar archaeological, and all that. Um, so, um, yeah, there's there's a lot of questions about how that's going to go forward. What was in? It goes back to sort of the, some of the dealings with the corporations, where the city says, "Well, well we have a we have a special deal with, with you know, going back to you know, ten years. We have to have the second street connector. We have to have you know this this the street closed for." For this new tower, you know, what is what is the special agreements and how are they reported and, and you know, was the public ever allowed any sort of input on that? <clears throat> so that's my fourth or fifth issue. I'll leave it at that. You got anything on your uh, your plate there, Mr. Persinger? No, not really. The point I've got. The letter that Kathy Graziano sent. Did you ever get a response from your email? No. In my mind. Who's the person? Teddy Carroll. Teddy Carroll. Oh. This really bothers me. That you're talking about democracy and participation and open government. President of the council is alleging facts and cites as evidence something that disproves what she's alleging. And it's done outside council, which I think was improper also. Um, and that this is this is still an active letter. So is Teddy Parham barred? Yeah, six months. Yeah. So if she were to go into council, she would get arrested? Technically, yeah. Removed. But she'd be trespassing after being told to stay out. And I mean, the, the facts just are not there. Graziano is claiming that she ordered the expulsion, and that's that's the word yeah, in, in the bylaws and in the letter or in their rules of procedure. It's curious just because the, the one, the, the how I found out about Teddy Parham, I think I told you all, I was going to, I googled Teddy Parham and got your uh, January meeting of last year that was your video that was the, both it was a Chris Dorsey um, Back to back, Chris Dorsey, Teddy Parham, double team, uh, that um, was um, public comment where she went for seven minutes. And the way that your video was, it was over here, and she's speaking to council. And you can watch the, um, and, and get Kathy's up there, and they're yelling at each other after about three minutes, although Teddy didn't have any curse words or anything. She was, 
you know, she was uh, animated but not inappropriate. And you can see the security guy kind of getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer, um, all walking on down there because of the way your video was. Um, and she ended up leaving after seven minutes, but um, it was certainly one of the more contentious. And Kathy was loudly yelling, you know, get out, essentially. I had that in my brain. I mean, I don't see much difference between this and what goes on in, in some dictator country where they just manufacture a reason to deny somebody their right. Has she, um, is she fighting back on this? She's not fighting back, but she's mad about it. I, um, does she think that maybe it's okay that, that it's a, it's a, an appropriate handling of the situation, or is she aware that no, you don't believe? No, I, I sent her a letter okay. telling her that I, I thought that this was improper and she was not being um, treated the way she should. And she called and left a message on my machine and basically well, she, she just thanked me for the letter. And she doesn't get too many of those. And then she um, went to my website and sent me a little bit or another message. But I, I think she, she's, she, she mixes up this and some other issues she had, so I'm not quite sure exactly what applied to what. But I'm kind of guessing that she doesn't quite know what to do. But it, in my mind, this, this is about as wrong as it gets. When did the six month time frame officially start? Or is that in that letter? No, I guess it's six months from November 7th. Yeah, it's, it's still running. Right. So if you can go back May 7th. And I, I sent the letter to Belisle's in council, and I have not received anything back from anybody. There's something, I sent y'all an email about, there's something on the organizational development agenda. Yeah, about I saw that coming up on Monday. Public, responding to public concerns or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. But that's, that's fifth district and not first. I suspect that. I don't, I don't even know if that has to do with open government concerns. Yeah, I don't know. But, um... Well, in terms of this subject and your subjects, as far as the better government group, are we... Are we interested in supporting, as a group, Wayne's interest in this particular issue and your interest in these issues um is that what, what did you have any issues i my my issue is probably the redskins um tree just the whole handling and and for y'all's information um wayne and i met with hilbert uh two weeks ago today um for two hours and wayne presented every conceivable bit of information, which was just a ridiculous amount. I mean, he had so much fucking information. He had, <laughs> he had goddamn, uh, he had dates of what happened, the resolutions that were discussed. It was just, it was classic. And, um, and Chris has, in email, after I had to follow up because he didn't respond back, um, says, that basically we suggested that we would like to support his investigation of all this and do an audit of this deal from the beginning to down the road years from now and let's check and see what the economic impact is, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and that we would, we offer to support uh, any entity that he creates to oversee and to monitor this um, and to do that with information. And he said that that's a good idea and that he is investigating what is the appropriate uh, monitoring body to to do this, and 
and so you know my hope is is that we're going to we're going to force his hand to to follow through on that and either there's going to be a council subcommittee or some other element of of an organized organized body that he's going to essentially allow Wayne and I to staff informationally um, to be able to do sort of a you know plus and minus all right we lost trees we lost a garden you know everything that happens at West Hampton everything happens up in um, in the East End uh, basically everything that was presented and then what actually happens and maybe where some of the holes were in terms of the interpretation or the what was presented and how it was presented. Um, so I w I'm going to continue to follow up on that and again my goal would be that we analyze how many people go next year to the camps and we go ahead and get money, uh, figures to try to, to uh, equate to what Shemur's numbers would be um, all of that and uh, you know essentially to analyze this deal on the back end to be able to hopefully to um, prevent deals like this being thrown in our face so complicated. Um, I don't know if that's a better government um, involved thing but I guess what I would see is what I'm looking to do and what I visualize that y'all are seeing is, is that if I don't feel that I'm getting the right handling from information being presented, then I would want Better Government Richmond to step in as a group and to help me get what I'm trying to get. And that you would want them to do that in terms of this, and that you would want them to do that in terms of water rates or whatever. Um, but that it ends up being that it's Wayne, Wayne's issue, my issue, Scott's issue, your issue on whatever it is, and the group then is the supporter to, to, to make the rules, to, to make the playing field level and to make sure everybody's following the rules, but it's not our group that's trying to deal with redskin trees and our group that's trying to deal with Teddy Parham and our group that's trying to deal with water rates. Yeah. What's, I think, um, that's, I think it's fine. I, I guess, I think, I think going from a big picture point of view, we have to look at, um, how much oxygen is left in the room, so to speak, and, and how many resources. And, and so from a practical point of view, I think we ought to look at these issues and find out which ones we can sort of combine. Right. Um, yeah, some may have a common thing. I think the water rates issue, the, the redskins tree issue, and the Second Street Canal, Second Street Connector Canal, um, prosecution, whatever you want to call it. I think those three things are sort of in the same ballpark mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, we're seeking open government, we're seeking to get this information, this response from the city. And this is city, these are our assets that are being handled in an improper way. Right. Or, 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 or we perceive, you know, we, we want more. Uh, and so that would be my proposal: is that is that we can, we we create a statement from better government that that covers those three issues from that angle. I like that um, because that doesn't mean then that we're focusing necessarily on one issue. Right. We're focusing on this pattern. regular pattern of misinformation or disinformation or uninformation or whatever, and that here are examples in this. And this and this project, right? And and, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't put our, put us in any situation. That I think we can in any trouble. It just says, hey, you know, we're seeking information from the city on these two issues. This thing, um, I think I'd be, you know, if you if you feel that strongly about it, um, and I do think it's a. You can't imagine she wasn't even expelled from the first meeting because she sat down again. Well, that that's, yeah. Yeah, let me make clear. That letter says that a citizen was expelled <laughs> on two occasions. And I defy you or anybody to find one shred of evidence for that. The, the council adjourned, the council recessed. And, and kind of paraphrasing Graziano, she said, you want us to go into recess? You want us to go into recess? All right, we're going to go into recess. 
basically Graziano came. Right. She said, I, I don't want to deal with this right now. Let's yeah. go on recess yeah. and recess. And at, at both occasions, it, it was, I, I, there is no evidence to back up those allegations. So here's, here's again, what do we do with this? And, and so, you know, I propose we deal with those three issues in the statement. And I guess my initial response to this would say, let's release a statement challenging the expulsion or the, the barring of the citizen from government. Um, now, and this goes back to my point I first made ago about how much air do we have in the room. You know, if we, if we release statements every other week, we're not going to get anywhere. We, we're, we're discussing priorities. Right. Yeah. And so, um, I think this is certainly... This, this has a couple of months. Right. This, is, this has been boiling for a while. Yeah. And it, it, I mean, it's, it's still live for four more months. Mm -hmm. so, uh, three more months. So February, March, April? Or March, April, May? Yeah. I mean, we could just keep that in mind. Uh, it, it also might be a pretty simple one, too. But. I mean, do you think that, though, is, is a proper response to, to challenge, or at least a statement challenging it? I don't know. Help them craft their technique better in the future for getting rid of citizens. Well, that's what they need to do. <laughs> right. Well, no, and technically, that's, that's within our purvey, as, as what, we're, what we're saying. We're, we're talking about following the rules. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that this is just a red flag for us. And it, you know, Where'd you get this? Did Teddy give this to you? No, that, I got that from oh, the clerk, yeah. So they had extra Kathy signed letters lying around? It looks original, doesn't it? That's printed out a lot from a PDF. Yeah. PDFs are good. Wow. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, the question is... Well, they've got that good technology. I mean, in my mind, this, this is just... If anything begs for us to get involved, this does. The question is, like you said, how? Um, I, I'm thinking, challenge them on the facts? Well, yeah. Challenge the legality of expulsion. I mean, they, it, it, she made it worse by citing the audio file. I mean, she shut the door on um, any wiggle room because without that, she, well, I did it afterwards or it was implied. But Here, if there's. Here's my thought on this. Um, it's been boiling for a while and, and it's important and it needs to be dealt with separately from any other issue. And, but I also think that, you know, there's a question of momentum and there's a question of. Of, like I said, air in the room. We're going to put out a state. We're going to put out a press release about um, the website and the meeting. Hopefully within the next two weeks. Um, that will give us till February seventeenth. Um, I don't know if there'll be any new information about the Redskins, the water rates, or the. Well, I knew that, I knew that there'll be something about the water rates, but I don't know about the um, the canal thing. Um, but all those things are, are pretty fresh in the public's mind. And we've done all done a good job of, of trying to keep it out, them out there. So, if we're going to put out something about those three things, you worried about that getting lost in the shuffle if we have this big? I would, I would, I don't. It's not that I don't think. I think that's very important, and I think it deserves its own statement. But I also think that we ought to push that out in terms of, of releasing. A statement about that until say mid March, you know, and and my, I guess my question is, we put out a press release about the meeting and, and, and the website. Do we put out also put out a press release about our statement about those three combined issues, <clears throat> or do we wait until we have more information on them? Um, can you 
articulate for me the, the theme and those other issues that would be in the press release? The theme would be that um, um, as part of our, our new, as part of the, this new organization, we are researching and examining and um, interacting with city officials about um, problems we see with um, citizens receiving timely information updates on um, these particular matters of development. Um, can, can you say it in terms that someone not real familiar with it is reading a press release? Can you describe it in a way that it, they can understand how it relates to them? I think I, I would say that um, citizens are demanding um, a more forthcoming. I see it's probably, I'm probably giving them wishy words. It's about accountability. Accountability is a good one. Um, demand more accountability. Well, see, accountability gets to we're we're, we're, look, we're focusing on is a little bit more impartial, and that we're searching we're looking for information. And so more forthcoming about information concerning these three matters. Um, I, you know, I'm trying to make it sound more succinct and juicy. Um, that's basically what I'm looking at. Um, I, I'm thinking that on those three, once, once you identify the theme, then you need to break it out and be more specific. Sure. We'll go down the list. Well, with, with, okay, with, um, with the water rates, you know, we, we, have, we have a group that's, our, we have reformers who are already been asking repeatedly for the consultants' information and a meeting with consultants. <clears throat> to, to me, the, um, the, the Dominion, street, that one's going to, that one's not urgent. It's, well, I don't know about that, but that's going to take more research, let's yeah. put it that way. That one, that one I, can, I can honestly say is going to require, you know, it, I know that. You're talking about 8th Street? Yeah, I'm talking. I'm talking about the new the new, new tower. Because that yeah, that one isn't even. We haven't been impeded yet. That we're just going to anticipating impediments, maybe. We're, well, the problem. The see. From, from our point of view, our point of view, the question is is, is what don't we know about it? And so we sort of have to get a better inkling of what we don't know about it. <laughs> yeah. We'll say on the water rates. Are, is your uh, do you contend that you shouldn't be paid, you shouldn't be charged $200, or? Yeah. Yes. There, that's access to information and access to the yeah. consultants. See, I, I think that's a good one to start with there, is that the, the city has provided documents to a consultant on an issue that uh, affects almost everybody in the city. And the administration is saying, no, if you want it, $253. Okay. That, that, that's just not being upfront with the citizens, in my opinion. If they gave it to the consultant, why would they give it to everybody? Put it on their website. Mm -hmm. um, but a, a lot of these. We need to make sure that we know our next move. Right. And if they say, if they say we're not going to do it, we we need to be prepared to deal with that. Right. Well, I mean, as you said at the last meeting, from our from our perspective, it's not a question of how much. 
we prosecute, it's more of a question of how much we document. Yeah. And if we, if we, all we're doing is putting out a statement that we think the city should be more forthcoming about information concerning these issues. And we can delineate one by one some of those things. When it doesn't, they have don't, be, doesn't have to be a lengthy press release. It then when they don't, we, we just say, well, we're going to keep track of these things and we're going to continue to ask. Right. Because part of what, and, and, and I like this direction in that part of what I've seen and what we're looking to do, particularly related to the petition, is more council-oriented. And that's a little cleaner in what we ask for related to what council should be giving us and what they're supposed to be giving us. The mayor and the administration seems to have some wiggle room or feel that they have some wiggle room in terms of what they can disclose and they can't because, oh, well, this is a real estate deal, it's in progress and so we can't tell you about it or whatever. But in the end, this is really where the, the major effort that we're gonna put forward is gonna help is, is that we get administration to be much more forthcoming in an appropriate time frame and when, when they haven't been in the past. So to me, each of these is setting the stage for us to put more pressure on the administration to do it. And if it means we just have to keep keeping track of, all right, they didn't tell us this, 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 they didn't tell us this. Right. that will at some point have value. Historically what's happened is, there's an issue comes up, City Council says, I don't know, let's ask the mayor. And the mayor says, oh, it's, it's, it's not really something you need to worry about. Why don't you, you know, give their council stuff? And they just play against each other mm -hmm. until, the, until the issue subsides. And so, yeah, I agree with Rick on that. <clears throat> we're kind of bringing in the third. We're, we're, we're putting an overall perspective that I think is important. Um, so how about the city a press release that says these are things we're looking at. And here's why. Uh, I'm, because, I'm, because that, I mean, it, it's going to, the, the press release hopefully will get attention and then the people that are looking at the press or whoever, if they're going to do anything with the press release, they're going to have to do, any, do something mention the things that are listed. Right, and but I also think that there's something there needs to be some sort of action involved or, or sort of a, a, a call for action. And it doesn't have to be, I mean, I, I, I appreciate the accountability idea, but I think that's a little bit too um, political. I think what we ought to do is ask for more information. There's some more forthcoming information about these issues that we're looking at. Um, <coughs> I guess I have an issue that I brought up in the council meetings just demanding that they video and archive their meetings. Yeah. And not speak in secret and hoops. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. And that's probably something it's a pretty good time to be talking about it because they're talking about their budget and stuff and so might as well set aside some money for that now. But I'm afraid how they would implement it. You know, I would like it to be you know, a format that's pretty standard and easy to download. Well let me let me let me put it this way. Um, do you think that cause would be helped? We, we, we agreed before when discussing the January 14th Council that that wasn't going to be a flag waiver issue. It was something we're going to note to Council and it's something we put on our website, but it wasn't something we're going to wave a flag to the press yet about. And so my only point about that is, it's not that I don't disagree with you, but would it make more sense to put the January 14th stuff out on the website, see what kind of response we get, and then raise that issue? Yeah, that's, that's good. I mean, what? If, if, what? That, that would somehow address it in a way, because then at least that information would be accessible to the public. Right. We've already we've already made the, the point, and, and we won't need to use that until it's time to use it. Is there a way to use our March 2nd meeting, which becomes our first real serious group meeting as the impetus to then have a press release after that meeting that says I'm, that I'm, I'm getting the sense that rather than rushing it, it might make sense to have a target date right after the March meeting 
have a press release to websites that Facebook and all of that. Well, it, 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 it's it's a little far away, but. Well, I don't know that we need to wait on the web, on the website and the Facebook. I think that that's appropriate. Well, I, to I mean, but they'll just be sitting there without the sure. press release. I, I, what I think you should, my personal view is. Um, Maybe we can do it by email. Yeah. Me, this okay. Here's here's a couple of different scenarios. One is we do a press release on the three combined issues because. They are the ones that are burning the highest at this point. Um, and, and there might be new information within the next two weeks on it, frankly. Um, in fact, there, I'm sure there will February 11th with water rates. The second thing is, um, and, and, and see the other thing about that is, if, if the consultants put all the cards on the table February 11th, or we cover it at least, then the, the call for it, more information is gonna be a little bit outdated. Um, so maybe put, put out that press release first as an email if we have to, just as an email. And the second press release, which would go out in two weeks hopefully, would be about the website and the meeting. And then we can also put the previous press release on the website. And that could be a good news item. The third thing is after we have the meeting, and um, on March 2nd, that might be a really good time to bring up Graziano's letter issue. And then um, at that point, there'll be the budget will be um, hopefully more, I mean, it's gonna be a play. And then maybe uh, beginning of April, end of March, um, point to whatever came out of our January 14th letter to council and maybe a press release on Silver's issue with the, with the videotaping. That's, that's how sort of I see a chain. I, and, I don't, and that's why, yeah, we have to be careful we don't crowd the issues and, and all that, <coughs> take all the air out of the room. I see the water rates and this one. Which one? The Graziano. the most newsworthy. They, they, right. They're disclosing what the city gave the consultant and addressing this wrong. I, I agree with combining it into a theme, but at the same time, I'm thinking that breaking it out into specifics is going to get the public's attention more. Whose attention are we trying to get, the public or City Hall? Well, you, you'll get City Hall by the press release. <laughs> well, here's the thing about it. I mean, I, it's not that I'm against breaking out things on the specifics. I'm certainly, I'm certainly for that to an extent. I, I guess my, in a press release, you want things to be short and to the point. Well, okay. And, and, and. I don't want to. I don't want to get bogged down by any three of the any any three of these issues, especially if they're going to be a mute point two weeks two weeks from now. My thing. My thing about it is, you get in, get out, and, and you just make the point that yes, this information should be more available to the public on these three issues. Boom. You know, and and and, and what happens happens after that. Um, and we'll have the specifics if people ask us more questions about. Them. I'm still fuzzy about how general, how specific. Press release. Maybe. maybe um, work Can you? Work. Would you be willing to write up a sample um, on what you think? Yeah. Um, encompasses what? Because I, I, I like that that quick. In, in all three cases, and, and not talking about this, but water rates, Redskins, Second Street, and everything that happened with the wall. There's a, everybody knows is there's a whole shitload of information that hasn't been divulged. And we can talk about what has and hasn't, but everybody knows that there hasn't been. And I think if we were just to leave it in a very basic sense like that, and if they want to follow up, they can. 
but that we're starting to promote the fact that we can't, we're, we're not going to allow this to be the case anymore. And y'all know what you know and what you don't know, and we're going to make it so that we know more. And just, boom, just leave it at that. And right. that's a good intro introduction, much better introduction, I think, than what we may be talking about with minutes and whatever, about the general public understanding where we're coming from. And you would name those four? Those four? Those three? I thought I got to four somehow. The, well, if we brought in Silver's. Well, no, they, no it, it was... Well, oh, I said Redskins, Second Street, and uh, Water Rates. Rates. Yeah, those okay. three. And all we're doing there, like I said, is saying that more information should be forthcoming from the city. And, okay. and, and leave it that. And, and that also, that also hopefully is a good sort of teaser into our meeting in March, you know, once we release that press release. If this interests you, come to the March 2nd meeting. Yeah, right. it's, it's starting to take form in my mind. Trying to think of the headline that, that that City Hall needs to be needs to share more information. Um, well, I would say better government is looking for more forthcoming information from government or something to that effect. Starting with right. Or an example. Yeah, these these are three yeah. three recent examples that come to mind. Yeah. And something to that effect. And it doesn't and, and again it doesn't have to get bogged down in the, it, and not that the things aren't important, but it doesn't have to get bogged down in them right there. It, it, but it has to <coughs> it has to be specific enough to get the message across. Right. There'll be there'll be three yeah. bullet paragraphs okay. on each issue. Yeah. But it'll it'll certainly be one page. <laughs> yeah. And the good thing about those issues is, is that in all cases, um, enough people know about it, they can fill in gaps that they want. The people that aren't going to think that hard still can know that what we're talking about is, is, is a problem and an issue. Um, but we don't have to get but so definitive about the details. Um, right. But if they want them, we got them. Sure. Would it work? Would it be possible to work that one in? Well, that one is a good card to hold. What do, you, what do you want? What do you want to have happen with this? Do you want to get? I mean, I think this, Teddy back. I think this is important enough. It should be a whole separate issue. I agree. Because <clears throat> right. um, this is a this is a freaking rule that just got got stamped, stomped on, and and didn't even get considered. And it is the queen saying, "I want to do this." Um, what needs to happen is that the letters retracted. The council needs. To we made a mistake. So in the end, if that gets retracted in April, that's still we're still okay. Yeah, yeah. From a timing standpoint. Yeah, as long as the clock doesn't run out on that one, I'm all right. But we we would have to. So we got three. May seventh. We've got. We we've got to watch the clock. Right. Yeah. That, that, but yeah, I, this I, is, I think Scott's right that this is a standalone and this is, this is a really glaring example of the rules being disregarded in a, in a major way and we're not going to allow that to be the yeah. case. Fiona does that whenever she wants. If she wants to limit the citizen comment period to 15 minutes, she does it without even a motion of the council. And if, yeah. one time I was in a committee meeting where uh, I guess uh, Marty Jewell and Hilbert were trying to Pass a resolution to oppose the coal power fire, the coal plant in Wise County, and she. Uh, there was a room full of activists there that were wanted to speak in support of that resolution. She limited the citizen comment period to 15 minutes, and she gave the guy from Dominion Power 15 minutes. Their lawyer, the only person there to speak in opposition to the paper, got 15 minutes. But she she does that whenever she feels like it, even though there's a line of people going in council chambers that wants to speak on something. I've seen her limit citizen comment to 15 minutes several times. So she, she just kind of does whatever she wants. Well, I'd love to slap her. But she, yeah, she went too far on that one. So. All right, so I think we're all in agreement that first would be the press release 
citing those three. Good. And I'll, I will try to write that up and have it to you guys um, before Monday evening. And if we, if we can get um, three, four, four A's on it, then, then um, we can send out the email. And then that would be coming from the new organization, Better Government? Sure. And this is kind of our first salvo? Yes, and, and I will make sure that we all agree on the copy. Yeah. And then after that's been out a week or two is when we would then bring in the second thing of we have here's Please here's go a, join. Please consider coming to our meeting on May se or March 2nd. Here's a press release. Here's our website. You can join here. And hey, we're having a meeting March 2nd. Come oh, on, I like that. On board. Because that actually, the progression, people are going to be more quick to react after they've heard what we were talking about with water rates and redskins and, and whatever. Gives them an understanding better of what better government is all about. And it's then you're asking them to get involved and then go from there. It's a good one, too. And, and that also gives us space to hit the real salvos, which will hopefully be this one in mid-March and then Silver's at uh, the end of March. Well, to me, this is the great talk about it at the March 2nd. Here, ladies and gentlemen, this is just a classic example of the type of thing that we're trying to keep from happening and is happening, and you may didn't know that it's happening, but here's a copy. Right. Um, and this is just illegal in every way, shape, and form. Yeah, and it's, it's a good rallying point. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the will be glad she's not city council. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's just blatant, almost dictatorship. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I think the way it was handled was very poor. <clears throat> All right. Um, anyone else have any uh, comments that they would like to get included in the minutes? Okay.